Listen, if you are ever looking for a dominant master, give me a shout. Can I be a loyal slave? Those last two DMs gave me whiplash. Oh, he pulled off the old switcheroo. Hello guys, this is Alex from DARPRO and today we're gonna have a look at r slash creepy PMs. Hello there fine lady, I wanted to personally inform you of the rather obvious fact that your body is that of an angel and I can see you're desperately in need of a caring loving man in your life. Open's trench coat reveals male reproduction organ the size of a blow dryer. I hope this may convince the fine young flower that I am a male specimen of top quality, ready to reproduce and get my own little mini RT. XD! Sits naked in bed, staring at phone nervously awaiting answer. <laughs> Pee Pee starts wiggling. Yo, what the hell? I thought we had yesterday's episode behind us. Like, does it wiggle from, <laughs> from itself? How? Like, is there a motor inside it? How does it just randomly start wiggling? Am I being creepy? Yes, you are. Why do you keep making new accounts? Um, cause Reddit banned my last one. I, I didn't know you were 15. I have continuously told you my real age, that's no excuse. I know, I, I was attracted to you when you were 13, and I'm attracted to you now when you're 15. But then th that makes you a pedophile. I guess so. So you should be in jail. I guess so. How can you ask am I being creepy? Get a positive answer on that and still think <laughs> and still think it's okay to continue texting the person. If you are enjoying the video right now, I would really appreciate if you would like the video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get a notification whenever a new video goes live. I uh, hope this doesn't make me seem like a stalker, but I saw you on the train earlier and thought you were fit to be honest. <laughs> I chickened out talking to you because someone was in the seat next to you but I saw your insta on your phone and thought, frick it, why not? But yeah, you're pretty hot, didn't want to miss my chance. Hi, oh, this is so out of the blue but uh, sweet, thank you. I've got a boyfriend, hope you're doing alright though. Alright, your boyfriend must trust you a lot to travel alone, you could meet anyone. Dude, she's, <laughs> she's traveling on the train, probably to work. Like, you were on the train for ages, you must have stayed the night somewhere to travel that far. Yeah, we trust each other and I don't want to seem rude, but I don't think it's really your business anyway. Uh, I think it is my business, if I see a pretty girl and want to make a move, you should make it obvious you're taken. Do you even have a boyfriend? You've got nothing in your bio about him. What do you mean she should make it obvious she's taken? That's the first thing she wrote when she replied to you. I had to tell you my first message I have- Yeah, okay, here you go. <laughs> Just what I said. I had to tell you my first message I have a boyfriend and I don't need to put anything in my bio. You also have your Snapchat in your bio, which is just asking for boys to add you. I don't think this boyfriend exists. To be honest, the way you're talking to me is making me uncomfortable. I don't need to prove anything to you. Yes, you do. I think I deserve a shot and I don't want to give that up. I'm really sorry. I'm not interested. I don't know what else you want me to say. Yeah. Do I not deserve a chance, though I think you seem really lovely. I have told you I have a boyfriend, you don't have a chance. Yeah, but I know girls just say that sometimes as an instinct to get boys away, but you haven't given me a chance yet. She says, I have a boyfriend, and he says, but I deserve a chance. No, what the hell, she is in a relationship, that means no chance for you. Hi, you remember me sweetie? No, sorry, who's this? It's me, Mark. Remember, we used to date. Uh, four... <laughs> four years ago. Yeah, and I thought we could get back together. Um... Yeah, no, sorry, I am happily in a relationship. <sighs> Poor... <sighs> freaking... You, you know that, right? Sl bit. 
please, can we get back together? Please, 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 please. White. Freaking sly white. I will cut myself if you don't get back together with me. Okay, I, I have done it. <laughs> and I'm dying. How stupid do you think I am? That's that's of Google. No, it's it's not. I'm dying NEA. <laughs> Look at this. This is from Google. Hey, this is Mark Sis. I just read. Throw your messages, freaking white. My brother is dead in the floor. <laughs> what a poem. Happy? Wait, is Mark happy now or is the sister happy? Uh, not really. He hasn't cut his wrist, so he's not dead. Also, if he's dead, you two spell an awful lot the same. <laughs> Grow up. Oh, freak you, white trash. We are both white. Swoo you. You know, it's sometimes better to keep your mouth shut and give the impression that you're stupid, then open it and remove all doubt. <laughs> Have a good life, creep. See you on Reddit. Why swoo her? Swoo you, Mark! Swoo you! My GF says if I don't suck a pee pee by the end of today and send her a video, she's going to have me gang banged as she watches. <laughs> Please help! Just imagine. <sighs> this guy is telling the truth. I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest and throw you a bone. Losing your virginity is sloppy and awkward, and doing it with someone you wanna be with is a mistake because of the potential embarrassment. And so I'm offering to help you whenever you feel comfortable, because I'm here to help you, and like, no feelings attached, I'm down to help you, homie. Thanks for the offer, but I'm a past dog. I mean like, in the future, homie. Oh, what a great friend to have. Hello. Based on your profile, you are perfect. I'm doing computer science, so it's refreshing to see that you do IT. Also, I'm a huge fan of DBZ too. Hit me with the lore, and yeah, I would prefer to use Snapchat or Messenger, so let's see how this goes. You have nice tits and your fishnets make me want to bend you over and stick it in your butthole. So, I appreciated the original message that I didn't even know was there, but I really don't freaking appreciate your second message, thirsty c- Haha, <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen, sorry about that. Hope you're not offended by it. Nah, she's totally not offended, she just insulted you for that. Oh my god, you're beautiful! All this is new to me and needs some guidance. You are the most gorgeous trans woman I've ever seen, and I'm desperate to become the same. Wanting to start HRT but have questions, ideally I want to become a completely submissive for black man and hoping the HRT will make me feel feminine enough to fall in love with a black man. Please help me, lol. Always felt sex and being able to fall passionate it, head over heels for a man were different things. Now I find myself constantly fantasizing about falling deeply in love with a black man who uses me and treats me like a hood rat. Yes, it's terrible, but I cannot think about being anything but a trans female. Put here to please black man. Don't share me, lol, just got a dirty mind, <laughs> lol. She definitely did share you. Okay, we got a big one in front of us, guys. Hey, how old are you? Hi, I'm Pink. I'm in my second semester as a freshman in college. I don't know what you look like, but I'm gonna guess you're pretty. I'm in love with your hair. Hair. Thanks. I was wondering if we could be friends. I'm in college too. Oh, sure, why not? Does me being forward and dominant bother you? Does me asking questions bother you? Does me having a GF bother? I guess that's the holy grail. <laughs> if you're okay with that, then we can talk. I'm asexual, autistic, and cannot always answer questions because school. What do you mean because of school? So you're okay with everything but the questions? I'm slightly autistic as well, so that's kinda interesting. Yeah, I have an essay to write at the moment, procrastination, you know it, and I also cannot guarantee I will always be available because of my workload. 
As long as you're a good girl and me having a GF doesn't bother you and how I am doesn't bother you, I don't care. I've been a freshman in college before, it's not a ton of work. Well, for some people it may be. My name is Yellow, I'm willing to try if you are too. Pink also, I'm in biology and human movement, which both take up a lot of time due to essays and reviewing notes, but I'm willing to attempt it if you are dude. Do you have a boyfriend, Pink? And ooh, don't call me dude. If you want to call me anything, call me sir, lol, or yellow. Uh, no, I don't have a boyfriend. Did it weird you out when I said as long as you're a good girl? Honestly, this is the first time I text another autistic person. This is kind of funny in my opinion. Not really, though my first thought when I saw it was kinky. Hey guys, yes, here is the Daniel voice again. Adobe Premiere Pro CC is a stupid cutting software. It didn't save two of the sentences Alex recorded. So now I'm gonna say them instead. Have fun. Lol. I'm kinky. My girlfriend calls me daddy, but only sometimes, because she thinks it's weird. I won't call you good girl or little girl, if it bothers you though. The poor girlfriend. Lmao. Too much information. I'm okay with you calling me whatever, just make sure your girlfriend is okay with that. Okay, now back to Alex. She is not gonna know about us talking, I'm pretty sure she would get jealous. But maybe if we talk for a few weeks, I will tell her I met a cool girl in college and we're friends. But yeah, for now she won't know, I only see her for the weekends. I'm actually going to see her this afternoon, but during the week we don't. We only text. It's the only reason I'm texting you, because I get lonely. If I saw her every day, I probably wouldn't. Just make sure your girlfriend knows, I'm asexual and not looking for that kind of commitment. Still, like, I'm gonna want selfies from you and she would still get jealous. She's freaking weird, she's one of those super traditional people. Like, she loves me and only me, she finds no other guys attractive. I can call you whatever, so I can call you sl Princess? Baby girl? Don't say whatever if you don't mean it. <laughs> Frick no, I'm cool with pink, pink, whatever. Also, if your girlfriend is gonna be that upset, just tell her I'm a dude. Call me blue, just out of curiosity. Why are you helping him to hide you from his girlfriend? Like, shouldn't you just stop riding with him when he says his girlfriend is gonna be upset? At least, I think that would be the best thing to do. I'ma call you little girl, haha. <laughs> Ooh, blue? <laughs> yeah, maybe I will do that. She won't see our messages, but I will say you're blue. Want my number or my snapchat? Nah, man, I don't do that. Reddit is fine, I don't give my number to strangers. No offense. Then Snapchat, you are cute, I'm obviously gonna wanna see you. Talking on Reddit sucks pee pee. I have Discord, but meh. I don't have Snapchat, I do have Discord though. Add me, yellow. Would you say you're submissive? Okay, as I said, asexual. Asexuality is the lack of sexual attraction to others, or low or absent interest in or desire for sexual activity. Little one? Yo? Call me sir. Would you say you're submissive? How do you usually act around guys? Being submissive doesn't mean being sexual, you know? It has nothing to do with that. I'm iffy. I'm not able to let myself be walked all over if that's what you mean. I'm loud, proud and obnoxious. But you are being submissive with me. I like that you're loud and proud honestly. But I also like that you're doing what I tell you. I just get a vibe that you secretly like being told what to do, or at least being taken care of. Also Yellow, you're coming across as super creepy. How? The first thing you said to me was, hey, how old are you? 
Then you proceeded to call me good girl. Yeah, true. I mean, I want to be myself. I also said I thought you were pretty. I mean, I just want a cute girl to talk to. I'm being a bit more open because we are both autistic. I guess I could have gone slower, but the end result would have been the same. If you want to stop talking, I understand. No worries. It's cool man, but you should still tell your girlfriend. It's better for her to know now than later. Nah, I, I can't. If I want you, I cannot tell her. If I tell her, we cannot talk. Well, then I don't feel comfortable getting in the way of your relationship. Please stop messaging me. Yo, that's the way to go and not help him hide you. You're not getting in the way. How are you getting in the way? If if you made up your mind, I understand. This was so freaking long. I... <laughs> I honestly need time to process this. I don't... <laughs> I just I just read that in like two minutes. That's just too much for me. Like I'm <laughs> I'm really kind of overwhelmed. But this was really super creepy. Okay, guys, that's all we got on today's episode of our slash creepy PMs. So leave a like and comment if you want more episodes of this subreddit. And see you next time.